Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is Hendu Jr. and this is a continuation of our Tales of Vesperia playthrough. If you guys enjoy, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTuber stuff, and let's go ahead and hop right in. So, I actually did do a bit of, uh, what do you call it, um, research, and I found a site that I could use for the um, side quests through the game. It uh, caught me off guard because I actually looked through it and I actually I found one that works beautifully for me because it has all of the side quest pieces separate from everything else and very distinct so you could just scroll through it and you'll see where the side quests are and then we'll describe them. If you need a little more context, you could always just back up a little bit and read some of the piece beforehand. And it's amazing because it, uh... Ooh, hello. Oh, you have that equipped. That's why. Um, it's awesome because it's, uh, very much... It's very easy to see where things are and what... You need to do for the side quests so it makes that so much easier than having to read through paragraph after paragraph to find what could possibly be a side quest bonus i can just skim through it and find what i'm looking for and just make sure that i do that so it's it's very nice so Oh, uh, why? She has all these really nice shields. So why do I have that equipped? I'll have to check, take a look into that. Um, ooh, hello. Why the hell not? I don't have one. I might as well. You never know, maybe it'll be useful for something else. Oh. Hmm. I don't know who that's for, but okay. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I'll at least have one of everything, just for the hell of it. I have the money, why do I care? Again, you, you never know. Maybe one of these actually helps to make a later version of something. You never know. Yeah, go all the way back up. Oh, there's there's a few there's a few armors here. Oh boy. As you can see, I have a lot of uh, items that will allow me to make said equipment. So. You never know. Mumbane. Oh, that's actually better. But Blastium or J is, uh. Yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know where the hell to get that. So that's what I would need for it. But it is better. Interesting. <laughs> I've never actually gone through these just because I never thought it was oh she has that equipped whoopsie oh well uh I never thought that it was worthwhile so but uh I, I read some of the uh ooh you actually interesting that's probably for Rita. Okay. Oh boy. Really? Hmm. 
Interesting. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, no, some of these are pretty interesting. Um, and then you got others where they need shit that's, like, insane. Oh, hey, I actually know where to get that. Cool. Um, it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, these... Some of these actually... Oh, okay. Alright, I know who these are. Oh, hi. Jeez, I didn't have a single thing for repeat. All right then, that's what he's got equipped, so I don't have to worry about that. I'll need that great wolf thing, which I'm pretty sure. Yep, which doesn't really matter. Oh, this. This is the thing that's absolutely busted. Um, where? Oh, okay, so I need green light stone, which I have no idea where to get. And dragon fossil, which I actually do know where to get. So, I just need to figure out where the hell that green light stone is. Alright, um, that's everything there. So, rebirth dolls are pretty useful. I can make a few of those. And they're expensive as all hell, though. I actually just went under a million gold, so... See, I would much rather go with these, because these are, these are nice. Blue sapphire and blue dice. Hell yes. If I could have... One person on my team with a blue Sephira, just so I can double my gold. And then three people with blue dice? Oh, I'm gonna wreck. I'm gonna get so much freaking grade. Which, it's not necessary, but it does help for later playthroughs if I ever want to. Hmm. Yeah, okay, there's not really a whole lot going on here. Ooh, I just used everything to make that. Oh boy. Uh, I, yeah. Blastium or J, do I know? Uh, so I must have found a blue dice. That's quite the thing to find. So yeah, there's a few things I can make, just for the hell of it. Oh, mithril boots for the gold leggings. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, they're pretty... They're not exactly strong, but... It is what it is. Oh, Paladin Cape. Okay. Yeah, I need another gentleman's tie and a great wolf fang, so I know where to get those. That's not that big of a deal. But it's gonna be a while before I see any of that. Alright, I think that's everything. Yes, okay. And then this is just excess crap that I don't need. Yeah, a lot of this is stuff that I've either already made, can't make, or don't have the items for. This is... Bloody beak scale? That's interesting. I have no idea where to get it, so I can't if I wanted to. But I might have to look into getting that. Alright. So, I think we're done there. Now, again, why does she have... Uh, mm. Oh, you know what? I think I only just recently learned some of the abilities, that's probably why. So... Mm, 
kind of want to go for something that has... Yeah, that might be my best bet. Mm. You know what? I think that spike shield does it the best, though. Strength 2, Magic 2, and Reflect. I think that might be my best bet. At least attack-wise, it's my best bet. Defense-wise, maybe not, but... The way I'm going to be playing, I, I need her to be as strong as she can get, be, so... I need to double-check, make sure... Good. I didn't want to have any... It, the weapon just basically covers for things that I would want otherwise, so that helps. Alright, now that I'm done messing around with all this shit and I've wasted ten minutes of everyone's time, hmm, do I leave it? Yeah, I'll leave it. It is what it is, I'll just plow through this stuff real quick. Alright, so, this is Morio's place as they called it. Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. Well, okay then. <laughs> That's a... Uh, pretty, uh... Pretty distinct. Alright. I guess this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. <gasps> no, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. <clears throat> I guess that means it's my turn then. Because breaking down a door is a crime, but picklocking isn't? Uh, Carol, I think your uh, idea of crime is very much askew. What? Your turn? <laughs> we shouldn't do that either. Technically speaking, it is still a crime to pick lock. Just saying. Nothing to it. I mean, I could be wrong. The setup of this of this world, pick locking might just be a minor thing, but. Last I checked, pick locking is still breaking and entering. Just saying. Wait for me! Uh, Please, wait. Why does he always do that? <laughs> you love him and you know it. Get over it. <laughs> oh my. This is crazy. Who could live in a place like this? can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. <laughs> Damn, Yuri. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello. We're coming in. <laughs> and the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. <laughs> Honestly, Yuri. Excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. Yep. Oh boy. Alright, let's look at a few things here. Oh, check this out. It's a Blastium model. Hmm, whoever made this was pretty talented. It's a model of a Grand Blastia. It's not working though. Grand Blastia? Grand Blastia refers to especially large types of Blastia, including but not limited to Barrier Blastia. Read that in a book too, huh? Read that in a book too, huh? Read, read, it's the same exact word, so, you know, sorry for that. The person who lives here must be quite an ardent scholar. Just because someone studies hard, that doesn't mean that their actions are right or just. Hey, the cover's about to fall off this one. Treat books with respect. 
Priceless information is written on their pages. Y yes. <laughs> One of the few times you actually see... Uh, well, I mean, you see her be pissy quite a bit. But, I mean... When you're messing with books, you tend to... You could piss her off pretty quick, so... That's a Blastia formula. Feel free to step inside if you'd like. Aren't you cold? I've had enough crimes for today, thank you. Technically speaking, you sat there and watched them. And then didn't report it. So... You kind of are participating in the crime? I mean, again, I'm just sitting here being uh, over uh, pessimistic about it, I guess. I don't know. Meh, it's not such a big deal. Not a big deal? Breaking and entering is a crime punishable by at least a year in prison and a fine of up to 10,000 gold. 10,000? That's chump change. I can cover that. <laughs> I can cover that. Um, nine? So that's that. 900 times? Yeah. I can cover that 900 times and still have a crap ton of money left. So, I don't really care. <laughs> Did you notice how messy this writing is? I can I can write nicer than this. But they say people with bad hand, bad handwriting have good hearts. Well, I have a good heart. I have good handwriting and a good heart. How about that? Estelle, Estelle, do you know what this formula means? It resembles a magic circle that uses fire, but I'm not sure. But at least you understand it a little bit. It means nothing to me at all. Oh, hi there. Ah! Oh, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, shut up. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> Huh? Hey, hold on! <laughs> Thieves? Yeah. No, what are you- Wait! Be gone! Help! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, why me? A girl? If you can pull tricks like that, Why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of Ablastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? <laughs> hey, dog. You stay back, you... you dog. <laughs> and you, kid. Give him back. What do you mean? The Blastia, the Blastia, give him back to me. <laughs> What's with you? My name is Estelise. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Sorry. So, what do you want? Well, you see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. Mm hmm So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. And the height matches up, too! <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? 
I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Mm. Follow me. What? Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shikos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Mm. Probably Flynn. Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia Corps could be there. Hmm, maybe. Hey. And no, that is not her standard Finished clothing. Finished chatting. Let's go. All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Yeah. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Yeah. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. The Shikos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. New page has been added to the battle book. Free to join the party. Yay! Alright, so... There's actually something in this house. Part of the uh, side quests. So... This area here should have a book for us. Huh? What's this? Oh, the collector's book. It's a self-updating book that makes it easy to record all the items you find. A self-updating book, huh? I guess I'll just have to look and see what you mean. Sure, that would work too. It's extremely useful to have. Let's take it with us. Collector's book. Huh? Hey, get a load of this. Most of the pages are blank. Are you sure you're a world-renowned researcher? And what's funny is I don't think you're supposed to find that right away. Because she mentions it when they're in the Shikos Ruins. So you could come and pick that up after the Shikos Ruins. And it makes a lot more sense. Now there should be something right over here. takes a pretty wicked person to lie so convincingly about her crimes. Hey, wait! A girl's dresser is strictly off limits, even if it's full of evidence of her own misdeeds. I'll be one to look. Wait, what are you- <laughs> Again, that music! Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. What do you think she found? Feminine secrets. <laughs> There's only a few things that I can possibly think of that they could be. And I don't think it's ever explicitly explained. <laughs> which is probably for the better. Uh, just... To put it simply... Our own imaginations just makes it all the better. <laughs> hey, I'll get you back for that. Estelle, you better watch out. No, it's you I'm talking about. You. <laughs> hey, Yuri just doesn't give a shit. Alright, so... With that in mind, actually... There we go. That's better. Um, so, Rita Mordio. This is her usual clothing. Spotlight Hog. And then I gave her the devil outfit, which gives the wings and the tail. Which fit her personality better than you would think. <laughs> just just being honest here. 
So, besides those, we've got Fashionista. I think this is a... I want to say this is a Hot Springs outfit. Exchange Student. Pretty sure that's DLC. Might not be, I don't know. Marines Captain. 765 pr uh, Trainee. It, that just it it doesn't it doesn't look good on her. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> Elemental Master. This is interesting. Uh, this this definitely fits her style. I want to say, but it just doesn't look quite right. It also cancels out the attachment, which I don't really like. Oh yeah, there were other ones. Catgirl Waitress, which actually, it's it's pretty cute. Definitely not her style, though. <laughs> and then Seeker, which is a thing. Looks interesting. It looks like a alternate colored version of... No, no, maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, Hotbot and the Spotlight Hog. All right. And then, I don't think I ever did Carol. So, Carol Capel, or Captain Carol. That's his usual get up there. Cure Plaster, if you've noticed, that's the thing on his nose. That, I just, eh, I don't know. Golden Soldier. And then we have a lot. Um, Frog Boy. Which doesn't look right. I could have swore it changed his entire... It was like, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a bodysuit, but I don't know why it's doing this. So, that's bizarre. Unless maybe... It's one of these... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Squeaky clean frog. <laughs> oh, frog. Oh, okay, I see what what's going on here. Frog boy is actually what it is. Okay. Golden frog warrior. Oh my god, I didn't even know that was a thing. Frog cafeteria worker. So, basically, he's got all of these odd ones. Campus Lackey Future Leader. Okay, that's actually pretty badass. That actually looks pretty good. It's a little too good for Carol. Oh, uh, Caligain Commander. Okay. Dream Traveler. Okay, then. It vaguely reminds me of something. Brave Vesperia. That's funny. It's actually a play off of uh, something that happens in the story, so that's interesting. Lunch Lady. Brilliant Support Roll. There's the full bodysuit frog. Towel Fanatic. And then Golden Soldier. Yep. That's the usual. So. Hop up here. We should be able to just walk right out. Now that Rita's on our team. All right, so with that, I'll backtrack over here so I can save, or actually, it might be just faster just to go outside, because I think I can save out on the field at any time. So this might be faster. Alright, 
So. Yep. From here, save. And that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This definitely turned out to be more of a, uh, filler <laughs> episode. Um, I, uh, at least wanted to get into a couple of fights, but oh well. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this Let's Play, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.